Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How are Supreme Court Justices appointed? The process of appointing a Supreme Court Justice is outlined in the United States Constitution, specifically in Article 2, Section 2, Clause 2, known as the Appointments Clause. This clause states that the President shall nominate and by and with the advice and consent of the Senate shall appoint judges of the Supreme Court. The process begins when the President identifies a candidate for the Supreme Court. Before making the nomination public, the President often consults with Senators, particularly those on the Senate Judiciary Committee, as a matter of senatorial courtesy. This consultation can help address potential issues that the nominee might face during the confirmation process. Once the President nominates a candidate, the nomination is formally submitted to the Senate. It is then referred to the Senate Judiciary Committee for consideration. The committee conducts a thorough review, which includes collecting records from the FBI and other sources, a process that typically takes about a month. The Senate Judiciary Committee holds hearings on the nominee where the nominee and other witnesses present their views and answer questions from senators. These hearings are crucial as they allow senators to assess the nominee's qualifications, judgment, and judicial philosophy. After the hearings, the Judiciary Committee votes on the nomination and sends its recommendation to the full Senate. This recommendation can be for confirmation, rejection, or no recommendation at all. The full Senate then debates the nomination Historically, the Senate allowed unlimited debate, but since 2017, a vote of 51 senators can end the debate, a rule change known as the nuclear option. Once the debate concludes, the Senate votes on the nomination. A simple majority of the senators present and voting is required for confirmation. In the event of a tie, the vice president casts the deciding vote. After the Senate confirms the nominee, the President signs and delivers a commission officially appointing the nominee to the court. The appointee must then take two oaths, the Constitutional Oath and the Judicial Oath, before assuming the duties of the office. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.